Hi, welcome to Catasta Charisma Working with Latex. Part 1. Join in the pattern sheets for the tube dress. Upon each individual pattern sheet, you will find a series of straight lines, around 2 centimeters or so from the sides of the printing. These lines can run vertically across the patterns as well as horizontally. They may run down the entire length and width of the pattern, or stop part way. We use these lines to help us align the edges of neighbouring sheets. The area between the lines and the printing indicates a margin that neighbouring sheets may overlap upon. Each pattern sheet will be marked with a letter and number. Letters indicate rows and numbers the order for each sheet from left to right. Collect the sheets together into the allocated letters so you may work on one row at a time. Working with the sheets marked with the letter A, separate them into their numbered order. To join the sheets together, we need to remove the unprinted margin from one side of each sheet that neighbours another. After a side has been removed, we can align the edge of the printing to the overlap line of its neighbour. Align to the top and bottom and check that the lines of the pattern templates run smoothly into one another. We may also refer to the underlying grid to help us with our alignment. Work your way from one sheet to the next until an entire row is made up and tape together to hold them in place. Now taking the sheets let it be, we do the exact same. We separate them out into their allocated order, remove an unprinted side margin from each of the sheets and align the cut edge of one sheet to the overlap line of a neighbouring sheet. Take special care on some of the sheets in which there are many different sizes of pattern lines. It can be a little confusing. Once you are happy with how the sheets align, we can then tape them together. To join one row of pattern sheets to another row, we do the exact same as before, only now we are removing either a top unprinted margin or a bottom one. We align exactly the same, bring the cut edge of one row and bring it to the overlap line of the next row. And as always, tape together. We can now do this for rows C and for rows D. Of course, you won't be doing it in Photoshop as you see here, but like me, getting hands-on with the actual pattern sheets. If you are not used to cutting straight lines freestyle with a rotary cutter, then do use a ruler. When we come to row E, 
the overlapping occurs across one portrait orientated sheet and two landscape ones. Simply trim down the unprinted sides of the portrait sheet and align to its neighbours. With all the sheets now taped together, it is best to lay down tape fully across all joins. This is to prevent the pattern templates from falling apart when we come to cut out the templates. You may also wish to tape across the back of the sheet, although this isn't necessary. It simply stops flaps of paper from getting caught on things when moving the templates around. While we have tried to be super careful in aligning our sheets together, it can be areas where things don't quite match. These will typically be very minor and have no significance on our finished garment. On cutting out our templates, we simply cut across the step of the misalignment to produce a smoother line. That's it for part one. Join me for part two where we choose the size we want to make the garment to and cut out our templates.